Hi guys, it's Michelle Slot, and I have a jewelry jar today. But I also had a couple of pieces that I picked up from my local uh, consignment shop that I wanted to share because this jar is small. I don't know what we're gonna find in it. Hopefully there's some goodies, but it is rather small. So I decided to show you guys a couple of things that I did pick up. Uh, this is a Raza. I don't know if it's Love Raza or just Raza. Uh, it is a designer who does these pieces. They're all the zodiac signs. They come in silver and gold because I actually have this exact piece in gold. And then his face is like a almost like a bone texture or something. But I picked this guy up. He's huge. They're so cool. And is Raza right here and this was $18 which is a pretty good deal um, I love this piece so that is going in my collection this piece these earrings are I believe they're Zuni yeah they're marked they're signed uh, let me see if I can read that ham looks like it says Ham, Ham, Hames, James, maybe, and Gloria, something with a V. I can't really see. It's super hard to read. Oh, Homer and Gloria, Vecchi, Vici, Zuni. So they are Zuni native made. And these were half off. They're turquoise and sterling. These were 40, so I got them for 20. And last but not least, oh, this gorgeous guy. So I have been I have been eyeing this thing. It has been in their shop for months. I would say probably close to a year. Um, and the lady, I believe, has some sort of store or her father did I'm not really sure somebody had was a jewelry person and they had a lot of native stuff um, so this piece has been around for a while and I've been eyeing it I wanted it forever but the price wasn't in my budget um, but it did wind up going to half price Come up here. And I got her at a steal, I feel like. For me, she's going in my collection. She'll be there forever. Um, I paid, I believe it was 300 or 289. I paid like around 150 for it. And it is gorgeous. It's all these needle point, I think they're called, uh, coral with the sterling. And this is marked, but this, they used to mark their I've seen a lot of sterling, vintage Navajo stuff that's marked in like marker. If anyone knows how to get that off, please let me know. It looks like it says 1850. Probably, I'm assuming that's the price that somebody had on it at some point. And it is signed, looks like Frank Morgan, Zuni, New Mexico. I cleaned this up. It was pretty dingy and it's probably because people were afraid to. It, cleaning coral is really hard, um, but I did take a cleaning cloth to all the silver and got in the little crevices the best I could. I did get it slightly cleaner, um, but I don't want it any cleaner than it is already anyway. I wore this to a concert last night and I got a lot of compliments on it and it is just it's gorgeous. It's one of my forever pieces. For me. Okay, now that's it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> now let's get into this jar. Again, I don't know. There could be treasures. It is not very big. I'm hoping to find some goodies, but we shall see because as with every jewelry jar, it is a mystery. It could be junk. It could be great. I've had really, really amazing ones. If you're interested, they are in my library uh, playlist. 
for jewelry hauls they're in. So I have gotten some amazing ones. I've gotten some crap. Uh, so it comes with the territory. It's gambling. You're, you're straight up there. You don't know if you're going to get your money's worth or not. And there's a good chance you won't. There's a great chance you won't, uh, if I'm being honest. These, depending where you get them, depend, can be very more missed than hit. So let's see what we have. Just fill it out there. And the first thing we have is this pearl necklace with the beads in the middle. I believe this is real pearl. It's got a lot of real hair in it, which is really gross. Um, it's not marked like gold or anything, I don't believe. But these do look like real pearls to me. And they're cool the way that they're shaped. Uh, then we have these earrings with this matching necklace. I'll get you the other earring. Alright. So we got these purple earrings. And these are just plastic. And the matching necklace, NRT, I believe that's Avon. Really pretty set though. This is EL, I forget who that is. Is it Elliot Luca? And this is, oh. Necklace. And I don't know if they're by the. Well, no, they have to be. These ones are pretty. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. And it's marked with something. That's a Swarovski mark. It might be because this is so pretty. Ooh wee, look at that. Shiny. That is gorgeous. It probably does not relate in the video, but it is sparkly. I have a feeling. Oh, I got my loop. Let me double check this because that looks like Swarovski crystals to me. Yep, that Swarovski, that is, I'm going to take my scrunchie off. That, yeah, that's really gorgeous. That is a stunner, a stunner for show. Uh, then we have this necklace that is Avon. busy while I was doing my video and she's being a good girl and doing keeping busy herself so we got this necklace which I like I said is Avon this treat's not as crunchy so hopefully she goes and lays on her bed and eats oh this is fun this is Noah's Ark like Noah's Ark. This is not marked, but that is so cute. You got the Ark, giraffes, with camels, uh, bears. They look like jumping fish, elephant, kangaroos, and deer. I think. Cute. 
we got this piece that is Leah Sophia. It's pretty, this is pretty, but I feel like this has run its course. But this is pretty, could be crafted with. is a broken necklace Claire special probably however it is really pretty could probably be crafted with uh, let me double check that's not silver no it's not put that in the craft pile this is cool this is a pair of hands I believe holding a pearl in a cage. No, it doesn't come out. It goes that way. And this is not Mark 925. Still a funky little ring. <laughs> Necklace. Not a ring. Gosh, it's getting late here. And I know I missed Wednesday, so I wanted to get one up for today. this pearl necklace and I believe this is possibly sterling I'll have to double check kind of looks looks it oh no we got a tangle guys sorry just inevitable in these things. I think part of the, the reason those end up, that they end up in there is because they are in a tangle and people don't want to um, mess with them. This is a cute charm bracelet. It looks almost like juicy, but I'm not seeing any markings. Those were so big in the 90s, I had a couple of them. If you haven't watched my videos before, I used to, when I was in high school, I wore the Mrs. T starter kit <laughs> with a ton of gold chains and gold rings, and that was just the style back then. Um, living in the city, I was lucky I did not get <laughs> robbed. I've had friends that did. Okay, so this is a big cluster, and there is some sterling in here for sure. So we'll work on this towards the end. We have this guy. It kind of looks sterling with a pearl. Titan shell. I'm gonna say this is an anklet. Yeah, that's huge. This is broken, and this is just S. broken and discolored, so that's going to go craft junk pile. Here's the other earring. This is really pretty. This is marcasites and I think that's rose quartz. It's 
darling. CN. I've seen that a, a, quite a few times. The CN. So that is our first piece of sterling that we know for sure. A necklace, chain. a fake gold necklace that's turned, turning. And what else do we have here? A necklace with some charms on it. The necklace is not marked. The charms this is definitely gold right here, and this is one of my favorites. Yep, she's marked. What does that say? Ten K Mexico. That's my first Mexican gold, but this is a Mexican. Is it a deity or god? It's uh, Our Lady Guadalupe, which is similar to uh, our Mary. And then, let's see if these are anything. That definitely isn't. This one very well could be. This one very well could be gold. Let me look at my loop and see if it says anything in, inside it. This one definitely looks the right color. I don't know what that stone would be if it is gold, citrine, or I'm not sure, but we'll test that. But the charm is definitely gold, and I'm going to stick that on my necklace. Um, we got this flip flop. Sometimes these are silver, believe it or not. Yep, this one is. Mark Sterling. I don't know if the charm is, but the neck the necklace is, which is a nice snake chain. I guess we'll put silver over there. Silver Um The necklace wasn't gold that came with that though, by the way. This is just a cheaper necklace. What on earth? OMG. Okay, so this is cool. We'll do this little guy. That's nothing. This is Disney, the 100 acre forest. Just a little longer. And it is the rope chain with the old school charm holder that says 100 acre wood and it's got Winnie, Tigger, and Piglet. This is cool. This I don't think is anything other than just costume, but such a freaking cool piece, especially for the Winnie the Pooh lovers. This is really cool. I'll have to look that up because I've never quite seen one like that and that is really cool. We got Alfani. This is giving very Louis Vuitton look, other than this bottom half part right here. It is Alfani. It is this gold necklace with the V. And then this 
but the V is definitely looks like the Louis Vuitton V. So if you wore a lot of Louis and you threw this on, no one would know. They're never gonna know. Okay. Then we have this, which I actually think I have the charm that matches it. And the charm is sterling. So I'm wondering if this possibly could be too. This is some weird kind of earring I'm thinking, I guess. I don't know, maybe a hair thing? Could be a hair thing. Uh, this is just another like Claire's cheapy. What's this say? This is cool, Gemini. Gold Gemini nameplate. It's another thing I had in high school was my nameplate. I still have it to this day. Still wear it. Uh, this is Monet. Nice rope. Of, I don't know what kind of rope they call that, but that's a nice. Would be beautiful with a nice charm on it. This is not marked. But it is cool. Let's see. Multi layer necklace, bracelet. We have courage with the pink gemstones. I'm guessing it's for breast cancer. Shout out to all the survivors out there and to those who have lost someone due to breast cancer. My grandmother was a survivor. My aunt was not, unfortunately. But this is actually really, really pretty. And we have this necklace. This is really pretty. I like the chain. Safari. No, it doesn't say. This is old oh, rich lady jewelry. <laughs> Very classy, classic. And of course, she's decided she's going to chew her bow next to me. I hope y'all don't hear too much of it, like last. <laughs> It's better than her god-awful bark, though. Ugh. And I had somebody comment that I didn't love my dog because I can't stand her barking. It's so crazy. I have a min pin there, barkers by nature, and it is awful. Awful, awful, awful. All right, so we have another, oh wait, Avon SP. multi-layer necklace. It's really pretty. This is promising. This is promising. Is it? Is it? It is! 14K. <sighs> oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is, I layer these. I have a couple on now and this one is lo definitely longer. I think than the one I have on. Too bad this won't fit. <gasps> it might, it might, it might. Hold on. I do have an old school charm holder. Oh, it, it fits. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay. Ugh. I don't know if she's staying on there, but for right now she is. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. This is sterling i have the necklace i believe that matches this it's almost like hearts in a way i've seen these real and i've seen these fake so i cannot believe i just found that necklace in here i am super excited all right then we have another tangle which i'm going to put over here untangle them and then i will show you guys what they are This necklace, which is Mark Sterling. Hold on. All right, I 
can't, but it is Mark Sterling right there. And it is this twisty kind of rope. I don't know, do they, are those the ones that are like, um, diamond cut? Oh my gosh, I remember earrings like this. I remember the boys used to wear earrings like this. Just one, just one of those. This is marked 925. It is missing whatever was there. Um, probably would scrap this unless I could find exactly what would fit in there, but I probably won't because I don't have the time. So, oh wait, why did we put these over here? Those are the other one. I can time a chapel love those. They like the 90s, 80s stuff. Trafari. This is really pretty. Really good shape. So this I am going to keep. And I am going to take these off of here. And I am going to use these for a necklace. I think I have some already that are meant for necklaces that you can put multi layers on. Then you don't have to worry about taking them all off and putting them all on at once. Um, or that it's just done at once. Let's see. This is fun. Like a rosary multi layer. That I probably take to consignment as well. Uh, this is not gold. No. It is real pearls. I don't know what they're called. They look like Rice Krispies to me. So I call them the Rice Krispie pearls. That. This is real. I can't read. Is that real? Maybe it's not. Hold on. It's not. At least I don't think so. I'll double check it. I don't think so. This is... I don't know. No name, but pretty. Vintage. I want to do a big, like, a, I'm, I'm going to make lots of, like, all this, like, Trafari and Monet and stuff and sell them as a lot. I don't know about vintage stuff like that. I know some Sarah Coventry is, is um, valuable, but and this is Nap Napier, this Figaro chain. This would be good to layer with, with like a rope and a Figaro. This is, I think this is sterling. Let's see, it's marked, but yeah, this is 925. This is gold over silver. Yeah, something like this, like this. Probably have to, I don't know. What the, what's that? earring that's missing the danglies, I think. This is not marked, but it looks like Sarah Coventry or one of them with that. So like this would be cool. Layered. Different lengths. Got these two pink earrings. earring. Maybe it doesn't have the pieces. Oh, oh, I love these. XO, XO's. So 90s. This is, I believe, 925. It says F8. Oh, it smells like 925. I'm starting to learn the smell. Yeah, this is 925. I probably won't keep this because I have a few of those, so if anyone is interested. 
this is pretty. This is Monet. That is cool. That is really cool. It's sparkly. That's really pretty. Oh, this is pretty. This is not marked, but it's really pretty. One of these like kid grandkid necklaces the necklace is sterling and then three little kittles on it got another sterling necklace can't figure out what that is but i think that's considered diamond cut herringbone and then the other side. Oh no, they're both. Very nice, very nice. We got some hematite. I'm starting to like it. I'm starting to like it. It's funny how somebody's opinion can get stuck in your head. Uh, this says Stacy. This is Spiegel. Any, well, I knew Stacy's in high school, but I have no Stacy friends. This is like a Figaro chain with the black beads. This is really, really pretty. What is this? Oh, is this an earring? This is a teeny tiny little earring, I think, unless it's something for pearls. Could be. Put that there because I'm, I'm not quite sure. All right, we have this necklace that is Leah Sophia. That is pretty. This is super pretty. This is sterling. And I think that's, I don't know, is that hematite? And it's this purple guessing quartz. That is really, really gorgeous. We have... This, so like, yeah. This, and this guy, and this guy, all together. The camera's not giving it the love it deserves, but yes. This looks like 1928, it is. We have a broken necklace, bracelet, something. It is Mark Sterling. So we can put that in the scrap. Put that in a scrap pile. This is not marked. This is just another Claire special. This probably came with that other stuff. Those other three. They probably came together. This I had one. This I know is gold. I can't tell if it's read if it's 10 or 14, but these were popular in the 90s too. 2000s, these rope earrings. 
Um, this I think is, oh, this is Swarovski. And it is garbage, unfortunately. They're missing and they're green. We're just gonna toss those. This is, I think, a necklace that's all tangled, but again, it's just a cheapy, lightweight piece. This is cool. This is a cancer necklace. Definitely sterling. The necklace is sterling as well. That's cool. My daughter is a cancer. This is not marked. It's got a funky little tag. It's pretty. It looks like Trafari or something. This is 1928. I bet you, yes, it is. This is really pretty. They have such cool pieces. Napier. Napier. I know I butchered the name. I know y'all are screaming it at your screen. I'm sorry. Right, we are getting down to the nitty gritty. Got this earring. That is so pretty. Actually, that is really pretty. We have yeah, yeah. this heart earring. Oh, I put this over here because I'm pretty positive that's sterling. We have this necklace. That is marked. How does it say? What the heck does that say? Hold, please. 14 karat Italy Vior. Oh, shoot. Another one? Care Italy Vior. Oh wow, this is a nice chain. And then that would be an amazingly huge diamond. I'm guessing that's cubic zirconia, but I'm gonna go grab my diamond tester just because that would be hella big. Oh, but it's such a pretty necklace. Alright, let me see. I know I have it close by. I can't believe I got two gold necklaces. Holy crap. All right, I got my, I got my diamond tester. I'm pretty sure it's CZ, but I was pretty sure I wasn't gonna find anything in here, so. Right, I'll, I'll let that warm up for a minute. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Can you imagine if that was O M P? I would poop myself. All right. We got this. This is cool. That is really cool. I don't know if this is silver. It's not marked, but I don't know. That's really, really cool. Let me see if it's. Oh, wait. Dun, dun, dun. I would say it's probably got to go up to at least five or six. Okay. Ready? No. <laughs> no, no, no. No. That's all right. It's still gorgeous. I might have to layer that, too. We shall see. Um, okay. We have 
and I still have two tangles to two big ass tangles. I think I'll, there's definitely a couple pieces of sterling in there. All right. At least one that I seen. So we got a pair of black hoops. Cute little hoopies. Hoopers. Um this is not marked, but this is really pretty. It's definitely a, a decent costume piece, like a nice, heavy, well-made piece. This earring. We got some red hoops. I love my hoops, but these are way too small. <laughs> Those are like baby hoops. Those are like if my hoops had babies, that's what my, that's what those would be. But big hoops are not for everybody and little hoops are not for everybody. So everybody's got their own taste. So don't let me, oh, there's another, I feel like I should lot all these chains up because I feel like they would just look so nice. And for whatever reason, the light is giving like tarnish. This knot is very shiny, gold looking knot not tarnished this is not silver I don't know if that's supposed to be silver or gold kind of looks both <laughs> um, this one is definitely older you can tell by the clasp I don't know that's cool heavy I might actually keep this one. This one I kind of like. Let's see about that one. Um, this is heavy. Whoa. Let's see here. Super duper long. Does this have a clasp? It does not. So you can't even put a new, can't even put a charm on that. We got this one. This I might have to keep. I kind of like this big, chunky chain mail. Uh, this is not marked. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. I can't get that on there. But, it's this. I might have to keep that. Maybe. This earring doesn't have a match. And then we, last but not least, we have this necklace. Really pretty silver. So I am like so freaking stoked about those. So I think overall it was a very good jar and we got some good costume that if anyone's interested in a lot together. These I think I'm going to, um, I'm gonna do these separate. I know some people like to see it, some people don't. So I'm gonna do these with the magic of TV, <laughs> YouTube. I'm going to untangle these and I'll be right back. Give me one second. Just like that, they are all, un all untangled unlike my tongue. So the first one we have is this little crystal heart with the key. And this I thought was airy, but maybe not, not marked, but it's super cute. One of these was marked airy. I thought I saw a little airy tag. Okay, then we got this little elephant. We have, oh, this is the airy, okay. This is a horse, a bird, and a horseshoe. It's a little discolored and still tangled. This was, this is 925. Pretty little heart and nice necklace. These, these ones I don't know. This is, 
so delicate. I'm guessing, I can't see what that says. It says Anson Sterling. So this is Sterling with, I believe, is that an opal or a cat's eye or a fake something or am I supposed to move? It doesn't look like it's moving. Unless I'm wrong. So that one is Sterling. This one does not look gold or Sterling and it is not marked. A vintage piece. And this one I did see the marking and I believe it said Sarah Coventry Canada, which I've never seen one. Is that Canada? Yeah, I've never seen one say Canada. So that's a first for me. So that is it for my jar. Got some amazing pieces. Still have to, oh, you know what? Let's see. Now this won't definitively tell me, but if it turns this coppery color, it's automatically fake. This color, it's like orangey color, and it does. So this is not gold or silver. This is just silver over copper probably. Still a really cool piece. I don't know what kind of rock that is or gemstone, but it's very pretty. And I'm super excited about my gold necklaces. These I'm 99% keeping. Um, so we got the ding, ding. So yeah, that is my haul. Thanks guys. Uh, I was a small but mighty little jar. I was not expecting to find the good stuff that I did but I'm pleasantly surprised and I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video I will have one up next week and if you like these kind of videos please hit the thumbs up so I know to keep making them and I will see you guys next time